Hey guys, this is Sarah with Sarah Lee Crochet and Fabrics, and um, I've lived in my house just to get to the point. I've lived in my house for about 20 years, and I am considering moving, and so I decided I'm just going to go through things and kind of see, do a general knowledge of what I have what I need to get rid of and just slowly do it because I don't want to stress myself out. Um, so today um, I actually had some other stuff to do, but my back was hurting a little bit. So I decided that I was just going to go through some bins that I had in my house that I wasn't too sure because I honestly haven't looked in them since 2020 or 2021. So I decided to kind of go through that, get rid of some things and then see what I want to keep. So I will make a little series. So one of the items I will keep is this book. It comes with a little, I don't know what you call this, but a little box for it. And it is, it says the world of Michelangelo. And I know I bought this a while ago from the Goodwill bins. If you don't have one in your areas where Goodwill send all of their stuff that they don't sell in the stores, and they send, send it to these bins and they sell usually at least my bin at the time. And it's been years since I've been there. It was roughly about a dollar twenty-five per pound for clothing or sheets or anything material wise. And then for books, it was usually 25 cents and stuff like that. And they have everything. But I did get this particular book. Let me just make sure because some of Michelangelo's stuff is nudity and I don't want to make TikTok mad. Okay, so that's okay. And it's a beautiful book. I genuinely love kind of looking at art books like this. Um, so I'm sure I have a lot of them that I've bought and forgotten, but I remember that. I remember that one. My dad showed me that when I was a little girl, the Madonna and the Child. So yeah, it's a beautiful book. I'm just trying to make sure I open up pages. It says the House of the Dead. Is that on that page? I'll show you that one. But yeah, it's a pretty gorgeous book. Oh, look at that one. So yeah, I'm definitely going to go ahead and keep this for a while anyway. Um, I'm not tied to it in any way, but I just wasn't quite ready to get rid of it. And then next items, because some of the items, I'm a crafter, so I do make stuff a lot. So that's also a big deal, items I need to get rid of. Sometimes I make things just to try it out, and I end up keeping it, and yeah, it adds to the pile. So I remember making this little book. Um, I wanted it to be to look vintage and so I found this little gorgeous little girl picture off of Pinterest. It looks like a vintage um, picture. Um, I don't know her story, I wish I did. So if anybody know this little girl and this is you, let me know. But anyway, I made this little book and um, I think I t uh, coffee dyed the paper to make it look vintage and then I did like yarn binding to put it all together. And so I just wanted it to look like a really old little notebook. So I kind of did a little picture frame there. And then when I opened it up, guys, I had all these $2 bills I have put in there for some reason. And it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So it's $18. And they are from 2023. So I know you money people out there. If you see anything, let me show you the codes. If you see anything that's worth money, tell me. But yeah. I know the numbers that are like with zeros before it are usually worth something. That's about all I know about dollar, about $2 bills. But yeah. Oop, there's that one. But yeah, so let me go ahead and put that somewhere else other than putting it back in that book keep it safe so yeah it's just a basic little book i took old maps and dyed it with coffee um just to make it look vintagey and i did use it so but and i took old um 
I was just, I guess I was trying to see what people back in the day when they didn't have so much access to craft supplies or your local Joanne's Hobby Lobby, what they would have done. So that was kind of my idea. And I just binded everything with yarn. I figured twine was quite available. And then I just tea dyed or coffee dyed. I'm not sure which one I did, most likely coffee. And then what I also did for the areas that I felt was not dark enough, I just put coffee, brewed coffee really, really strong and put it in a spray bottle and sprayed it. So yeah, but I think it's pretty cute. So I will go ahead and keep that. And that's how the back looks. Okay, so next item I was kind of happy to find. I used to travel with this all the time and I have misplaced it obviously, but these are silicone cups I bought off of Amazon maybe about more than 10 years ago or so. And I will wash them because they've been dusty and dingy in the box. But yeah, they are awesome when you travel. They fold right up. And when you're in your hotel and you want to have a drink or don't want to drink out of, you know, sometimes they'll provide paper cups in those hotel or glasses in the hotel. And you just don't want to deal with that. These are awesome. So I'm going to get these soaked and clean because they have been dusty for a while. But I absolutely love these. Um, and I used to drink wine and all kinds of stuff out of my hotel room when I travel. So I will continue to use this. I will wash it up and put it in my travel bag. And then I did found, find this little um, cookbook slash cutlery. I guess it's displaying some cutleries. It is from 1972. And I guess it belonged to Mark. <laughs> So, well, that's cool. At least, yeah, I can show you that because it doesn't have a area code. But it's marked phone number without area code is on there. So we don't know where he is. But yeah, it's a beautiful little book. Nothing, you know, too major, but it gives you a lot of information. Especially for the real cooks out there that find this stuff interesting. I just, I like cookbooks. I don't really cook by you know recipes um but i like kind of seeing it i kind of like to just see if there's pictures and see what they use back then but yeah there's a lot of good recipes in here frozen fruit salad sounds like it's just pretty much frozen fruit but you know and yeah pretty good stuff so i'll hold on to that for a little bit and then last but not least to make this video short i did find this which is good old tupperware oh my gosh what was this this one was made in the usa i guess tupperware are they all made in the usa i don't know but this looks brand new like and i i actually did get this um at the goodwill bins it was just sitting in the bin i probably paid less than 50 cents for it but when you open it up, and this had to be minimum 10 years ago. When you open it up, it's like a strainer, I assume. Um, I don't know much about Tupperware or their pieces or what they're used for. So if you know what this was used for specifically, let me know. But it looks like it'll probably be something in the Tupperware old school um like magazines or whatever because it's just beautiful so but it fits perfect and it snaps closed and i mean it's it's a little dusty because it's been in a box for so long but i mean honestly it's it's darn near perfect it is darn near perfect so i guess you would just open this up and serve whatever's in there so good deed so that's what I am, I'm excited about this. I won't use it. This is just not something I would use. I probably, I don't know. I just liked it and it was probably so dirt cheap that I purchased it. But if you know anything about it, let me know. But I'm going to get to work. I also have a throwaway junk pile. It's mostly like old craft items that are no longer usable. Um, but I will keep up the videos. Let me know what you think.